You get your hands quite dirty, huh? Oh yeah, hands, your clothes, your shoes. Everybody asks me if I work in concrete when I'm out at the store. <laughs> what do you tell them? No. One guy came up to me and goes, hey, do you work in concrete? I looked at him and I go, no. He's like, oh. He turns around and walks away. <laughs> it was great. Uh, <laughs> I think he was looking for a job. <laughs> Now I'm making the top and the bottom to the teapot. So, need to, uh, that way. So these have to be perfectly smooth to pick up all the texture. I don't want any canvas texture in the, in the fish form at all. In the beginning my work used to be about the fish. So it was the, the shape of the fish. Now it's more about the texture of the fish and less of the shape of the fish, so it's more about the essence of what a fish actually is. This is a special slip. This has a mixture of sodium silicate in it, so it's a liquid glass in it. When it fires, it fires harder and less likely to crack. I like touching the clay. It's more of, uh, you know, touching the clay is more like touching skin. It has that, you know, tactile, you know, relationship that goes on with, with me and fishing like it's got like the texture it feels like a fish when I hold the fish whenever I make a new fish like it's it's like I'm at the river you know what I mean if I can't catch the fish I'll build the fish you know what I mean it's much easier to build a fish than it is to catch a fish without driftwood the fish would have no place for it to hide from predators so that's why I use the driftwood handle. Functional work. I can make a teapot in two days. You know, it'll take me two days to build a teapot, but then you have the drying time where I let my pieces dry for like a month. Just so when, if you, you don't want to stress the clay out. So the faster you dry the clay, the more stressed out it gets, and the more likely it is to crack. Sometimes I put flies on them. Flies and bees, and so this is a quick sketch of <clears throat> what it will look like. So this is what they look like when they're all put together and glazed and fired. I just want to keep creating and just keep evolving, changing my work. I don't want to force anything. You know, I don't want to force it to change. 